Hi. I'd like to demonstrate VMware Workstation's replay debugging feature in Visual Studio. I'll begin by starting up Visual Studio and opening my project called TradeStar. What you'll see at the, on the menu bar is the VMware menu that is made available by our plugin to Visual Studio. We provide a host of options for debugging programs running inside VMs. Those can be live VMs or the program can be running in recording inside the VM. That's what we're going to be looking at here. So we need to begin by opening up the options window and configuring the VM we intend to debug, debug in and the recording that contains the program that, we're debug that we'd like to debug. So now we start the replay debugging process. What you'll see is VMware Workstation pops up. The recording progress bar appears. And now we've broken into the debugger because we've hit a breakpoint. And what I'd like to emphasize at this point is that this should feel like a normal debugging experience, even though we're debugging a program inside a recording. We can single step through our program. We can step into functions. We can look at uh, the values of our local variables, our threads. We can see all of our DLLs. We can look at our call stack, and so on. But at this point, let's continue the execution of the program so we can encounter the crash that we'd like to debug. And here we go. We've got an access violation trying to read address 6C, 6C9, etc. Let's break into the debugger and look at the line of code that causes this problem. Well, we're dereferencing tlog.head, and this head field contains the value 6C, 6C9. So the problem is we're dereferencing a bad value in the head field, and the question is, where did that bad value come from? I've done an analysis of this program and all of my assignments to the head field uh, are good. So some, but some other piece of code is corrupting this field. Visual Studio provides a data breakpoint facility that allows you to identify a particular data value and be told when it gets changed. The problem is that does us no good at this point because the uh, corruption point happened in the past. We want to know who in the past updated this. And we can simulate that with the replay debugging feature. So we begin by creating this data breakpoint. We're interested in the data at the address of tlog.head. And now if we go to the VMware menu, we'll see this reverse continue command. And we'll select it. And what we're going to see happen in Workstation is we're going to see a couple replay steps. During the first replay step, called the analysis step, we're just uh, in recording all of the debugging events as they're encountered, the breakpoints, watchpoints, etc. Once we know where they all are, now we know what the last one is, so the final replay step replays to that point in time. And that's what we've done here, and we've encountered our data breakpoint. So now let's look at uh, the code that caused this. Well, we're in some sort of library. Let's look at our call stack so we can find out how we got there from our code. So uh, this, our memory was corrupted in the implementation of stir copy, where we're apparently copying a name, a string, Nahasapimapetalon, into this last name buffer. And if we look at closer at this last name buffer, we see, aha, this buffer has 12 bytes, which is only enough to hold Nahasapimap. So what's happening here is we're copying a large string into a small buffer and overflowing into an adjacent structure. That adjacent structure just happens to be our t-log structure, and that's what's writing garbage, in the, that is, say, the end of this string, into the head field. When we dereference that, we get our exception. Replay debugging is a unique and powerful feature that greatly simplifies many debugging activities. It is built into Workstation 7 and works with Visual Studio. Give it a try. Please visit VMware.com and ReplayDebugging.com for more information.